What's up guys? Sam here with Broke Girl Investing. I am back to do a budget review video. I skipped out on May because I didn't feel like making the video. So I am going to cluster up May and June together. I'm just kind of go over where I'm sitting. Um, some new things are happening. Some more money is being spent, uh, but some more is being invested. So that's great. Y'all forgive me if I look a little hot and sweaty. The AC just kicked off for some reason in, in an RV. If you don't have the AC running in July in Texas, you're going to be hot. So sorry if I look a little hot. All right, let's not waste any time. Let's jump right into this review. May. All right, I'm just going to briefly go over May um, and just jump into June because June is kind of when uh, more things were happening. Um, just some points here that happened in May. My paycheck was bigger than I suspected it was going to be, so that's a plus. And I did get a chance to donate to an animal shelter down here. It was awesome. I did get to throw in $800 to my emergency fund, which felt really, really good. And rent, rent went down uh, $65 this month in May because my landlord asked me to water some bushes that they put in right out front. And he's like, I'll give you a rent credit. So I went ahead and did that. So I got a cheaper rent in May. And another thing that happened in May, oh, I paid $180 for my phone bill for the entire year. That is Mint Mobile. Um, they, they, they make you purchase in um, six months or three months or a year, I believe. So I just flat out did a whole year for my phone bill in the month of May. I did away with that. Um, anything else that sticks? Oh, something else that sticks out in May. I was going to do some uh, real estate investing, but I didn't get to it. That's okay. Um, uh, let's see. Nothing happening here. In the, I did contribute like normal fifty dollars to my Roth, a hundred to Schwab, and I did put a hundred dollars in crypto back in May because the price started to drop, and I saw that um, that say uh, was on sale, right? So I bought a little bit there. It's like totally dropped now. Anybody who keeps up with it. Uh, okay, so a couple of new things here, or just one new thing on May. I opened up an HSA account, <clears throat> health savings account. Now it says HAS because when I type it up here, oh, so let me do that. When I type HSA up here, and I hit enter, it auto corrects, and I can't figure out how to turn that auto correct off. So that's my has account, aka HSA. And every pay period, I'm just I'm just slowly starting out, just doing fifty dollars a month, or I'm sorry, fifty dollars every pay period to that HSA account. And that's pretty much the news I have for May. That kind of sums it up. Um, but let's jump here into June. Now, June just ended. I just got um, my last check in June, um, about $2,500 for the entire month of June. That's what I made. My rent, of course, is back up to $495. He didn't want to give me, my landlord didn't want to give me any more uh, um, discounts for watering the bushes, but I stopped watering them. I only did it for one month. That's a lot of work. Insurance is $109. Groceries, I didn't didn't buy a lot of groceries this month. I did do a little dining out. I did buy some people some dinners, so I'm not mad about that. Uh, the, mis the miscellaneous spending went kind of deep. I did a, a baby shower gift, a friend, and I had to buy some things for uh, the car. Speaking of car, I did have to purchase a new car, so I, I financed it, I should say. Um, wasn't really ideal to do that but it was a really good deal on the vehicle itself and my current car is in the shop right now and it is getting diagnosed and um, the plan is once I get my old car fixed I am going to sell it sell it on the marketplace uh, because the used car um, the used car 
area right now is like really hot like used cars are super expensive so i got my car appraised assuming that everything was working in good condition and it's it's going out there for about twelve thousand dollars so my it's my kia soul it is a 2014 it just hit to uh 100 000 miles so you know twelve thousand dollars for that it's that's pretty good deal so i'm hoping to get it fixed soon and get that sold so enough of the regular bills um this also something else that was new in my investments i did open up a 401k at work well i actually didn't really open it they automatically enrolled me after 90 days of being there so i set up i think five percent was coming out of my check i don't know a lot about 401ks and i'm slowly learning about them and doing more research um so the company i believe is going to match three percent three or four I don't remember um, I, I need to get get in there and really see what's going on with it but I have that down there I think next pay period there that's when they're gonna start actually pulling out something for the 401k so that's a brand new investment and my my has account aka HSA I have I'm taking it like I said 50 bucks out of there each pay period um, so that is a hundred bucks for last month and i believe when i first signed up for the hsa the employer put in like 360 dollars or something like that i couldn't log into my hsa account prior to making this video for some reason so i couldn't find out the exact amount so that amount should jump up in july so if we're looking um <coughs> excuse me I didn't I didn't put anything into crypto this month because I had my car in the shop and I knew you know it's gonna cost some type of money to get it fixed so I kind of backed off even though crypto is like really really low right now my portfolio is just crying right now in the corner I'm about to show you guys just move on down here yeah crypto see right here three thousand eight hundred and fifty four I mean if you look back at last month it was double you know and even the month before it was nine thousand so yeah it's just been declining like crazy um, and okay so here we go the car the Kia car yeah that I have my, my old car the one I still have it appraised at eleven thousand nine hundred twenty five dollars that's almost twelve thousand dollars that's a lot of money for that old car and I mean it, it is in still pretty good condition like I kept the inside pretty clean you know everything works on the inside everything works pretty much how it should it's just there's just a few things right now it's in the shop for that needs to get fixed uh, my savings my savings did go a little bit down because I did have to uh, do a little bit of a down payment so um, that's fine I'm not too worried about that right now Schwab account um, 11 14 I think think see last last month Schwab was up no wait no it was down oh so my Schwab account actually went up a little bit there that's nice and back in April Schwab was about the same so okay my Charles Schwab account went up a little bit um, all I really have invested in Schwab is some shares of SCHD SCH SHDC I don't I don't remember um, I have shares of that and I have a just a few shares of Kathy Wood stocks. So the majority of it though is in the um, SCHD. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, okay, this says my HSA says 410. I don't know what happened there. Oh, I think I try to add in that 360 that the employer put in there for me. That's probably that's what that is. Uh, Roth IRA still still doing okay now my RV I'm still appraising it at 7500 um, I'm just gonna keep it there for now until I I don't know just just gonna roll with that um, here is the car this is what is financed right now nine thousand eight hundred and twenty three dollars now I am officially back in debt with this car I spent a really 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 long time 
trying to pull myself out of debt. If anybody of you watched uh, watched my other channel, y'all would see um, how long I've been trying to get out of debt. So this was really hard for me to uh, do to get back into debt. And you know, at the end of the day, I I I weighed all the pros and the cons. And the vehicle that I got was it was a really good deal. Um, it's a really reliable vehicle and I knew sooner or later that Kia with the 100,000 miles on it wasn't, you know, it, it probably wasn't going to go as far as this new used car that I just bought. And yes, it was used. So that being said, I'm, I'm going to be okay with getting, getting back into debt, but knowing myself, I'm probably going to down the line soon probably try to pay this debt off as fast as I can because that's just how I am so all in all we've got with the assets and the liability back to a net worth of twenty three thousand seven hundred twelve dollars and sixty seven cents um, jumping back from May that was thirty thousand um, and of course that's because I didn't have the new car debt the new used car debt I didn't buy new Although I wanted to, there's some. There was this really nice new car that I wanted, but I couldn't. I didn't do it. So, anyways, that is where I'm sitting on my budget right now. So my new car payments they will go into effect in August. Uh, my 401 will go in effect, I believe, this next coming paycheck in July and uh what else i'm contemplating if i want to buy a little more crypto because it's so low right now and um you know it's it's like do i want to get more do i want to take it as it's on sale um zooming out and looking at the history of crypto you know it's it's up it's down it's up it's down so it's like yes there probably will be another up how long i don't know and yeah that's it i'm gonna do a little more researching on this 401k um oh also a, a reit i wanted to start i opened an account on uh what was that um fundrise fundrise.com i opened an account about uh two years ago and the minimum deposit for it was 500 dollars and i should have opened it back then because now i just researched into it it's like a thousand dollars minimum to invest on that website and I really want to do it I like really want to do it guys but I'm gonna look I'm gonna look into that and I don't know if I'll jump the gun on it this month or maybe in August because like I said my cars in the shop uh, those repairs are gonna have to be made and I'm gonna have to spend a little bit of money on that so it is hot in here I am gonna check out now I hope you guys enjoyed my quick budget update and I hope you guys are having a great summer and staying cool and have a good 4th of July. It's two more days till 4th of July. So I'll catch y'all in the next video. Bye. -bye.